This slide outlines the advantages and the limitations of the pre-stressed concrete members. Let us first look into the advantages of pre-stressing concrete. We know that the principles of pre-stressed concrete is to pre-stress the member first before the external force is being applied. The purpose is to reduce or to eliminate the stress, particularly in tensions generated in the member. This method can ensure the sections remain uncracked under the service load. This is advantageous because it can prevent the corrosion of the steel so that the member have a higher degree of durability. Also, if the sections remain uncracked, the full sections of the members can be utilized. This will give you a higher moment of inertia which will result in a higher degree of stiffness response of the member and less deformations when subjected to the load which improve the serviceability of the members. Also, the compressive stress can increase the shear capacity of the member. The uncracked member is also advantageous and suitable to be used for the applications for the pressure vessel and also liquid retaining structures. It can effectively prevent the leakage of the liquid and it also improves the performance and resilience under dynamic and fatigue load. Under the dynamic and fatigue load, the existence of the crack in the member will eventually deteriorate the performance and durability of the structure. So, if we can prevent crack of the members, the resistance to the dynamic and fatigue load will increase. Next, pre-stressed member can maintain a high span to depth ratio. It means that the member can have a longer span under a specific depth of the member as compared to the conventional reinforced concrete member. This allows a longer span possible with pre-stressing, which can be used for the bridge structures and for the structures require large column-free spaces. In comparison to the RC members, for the sand span, less depth will be required. This can reduce the self-weight of the members, give more aesthetic appeal due to the slender sections, and a more economical solution. Another advantage of the pre-stressed member is it is suitable for precast construction, where the member can be prefabricated in the factory before being transported to the construction site for installations. This construction method is faster, and the casting of the precast member are normally done in the factory under a controlled environment. This can give a better quality control of the structural element and reduce the needs of the maintenance. Another advantage of the precast constructions is there will be repetitive constructions. The design will be simpler as the same design can be used repetitively at different spans and the construction words is also simpler. Basically, the construction is repeating the similar construction process. Also, the formwork can be used in multiple times. This will be more economical 
and the members are normally with the standard available shapes the specifications are normally provided by the manufacturer this is the design process of the pre-stressing structures however there are some limitations of the pre-stressing structures first pre-stressing requires skilled technologies which will need to involve a certain group of specialists who have the skills to do the pre-stressing second the pre-stressing concretes are normally have a higher degree of strength and also the tendons are also with higher strength the use of the higher strength material is costly and there will be additional cost on the equipment used for pre-stressing lastly there is a need for the quality control on inspections on the pre-stressing aspects